an agency whose mission has shifted to crime prevention. Hello, I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicke with Denver Police News. District 3 in Denver Police, which spans the southeast corridor area from Platte River all the way to Yosemite and from 6th Avenue all the way down to Bellevue has had some great successes recently in preventing burglaries. Here to talk about that, Detective Bill Monahan and Sergeant Randy Royal. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks, for, having thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. You guys have had some successes lately. What are you doing differently that we haven't seen? Well, first of all, we're extremely proactive. We have an extremely proactive detective bureau. We don't do the, the traditional typing behind the desk and trying to solve cases in the office. What we do is we, um, we go out in the field. We contact citizens, we contact suspicious parties in the neighborhood, we drive down alleys. We put a lot of operation, operational plans together in order to reduce burglary and it's been pretty successful so far for us. Let's talk about a couple of the successes in particular. I mean we had the Lowry uh, area which was getting hit with burglaries. We've had the Broadway corridor. Let's, let's talk about Lowry. What happened in that instance? Um, we had a, a series of uh, overnight burglaries through residences. Um, we went out several times um, and did uh, operations in plain clothes and to saturate the area and try to locate suspects um, or a suspect. And we um, went out there and talked to um, citizens and people. Um, and in one of the cases, the suspect got in a confrontation with the homeowner and um, left some physical evidence. And we were able to identify the suspect that way and um, get him arrested recently. Another instance where we've had a great deal of success, Broadway Quarter. Broadway Quarter has seen burglaries from in businesses, residential burglaries. Um, you know, what did you do there that's had an impact? We did an operation, I think it was just two weeks ago, um, where we saturated the area with plainclothes um, detectives um, during the overnight hours. And, um, you know, we're out there talking to people, gathering information. That's the key to doing police work is talking to people and obtaining information. And while we were out um, that night, um, a 911 call came in for a burglary in progress. There was a suspect who had um, entered into a home, um, whether a three young woman home. Uh, he did so by uh, cutting the screen and forcibly opening a, a window. Um, we were able to get to that location in a timely fashion and um, apprehend the suspect who was hiding in the bathroom when, uh, when we arrived there. That was pretty successful. One thing with the Broadway corridor is um, they're, they, they've had uh, a lot of burglaries, both residential and business burglaries. So it's important that um, uh, we let the citizens know we're out there trying to reduce burglaries at all hours. That operation Bill just talked about started at, at 10 o'clock at night and we're working 10 o'clock at night till probably noon the next day trying to get burglaries. Let me ask you, Detective Monahan, is it tough to balance caseload? I mean, certainly you do have some desk work that you need to get done. So how do you balance being out and about and making contacts versus still getting the casework you know, done? Is that, is that tough on you? At times it gets difficult, but you just have to be able to um, prioritize. And to all the people in our unit, if we have you know an active pattern of crimes in, in an area, and we might have some other um, lower priority cases, they might have to wait a couple days. Um, you have to prioritize if there's really active um, criminals uh, targeting a certain area, um, you know, you need to address that. And the best way to do it, like Sergeant Royal said, is to get out of the office and, and talk to people and look for the suspects. Sarge, Detective, thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. All right, it looks like you may be seeing, in addition to uniformed police officers, more detectives in your neighborhood. Thanks for watching Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Warnicke. We'll see you next time.